Hello everybody, welcome back to Course Design HQ. Um, yeah, another course review today, this one is called Pellery Lynx Golf Club by um, Max, Max X Nitro. Be Max Nitro, it's two X's. So, Max X Nitro or Max Nitro, I'm not sure. But, um, I've seen some pictures of this course. It looks like a banger. Um, a lot of hard work has gone into this course. I'm really excited to play it. So, here we go. I'm uh, looking forward to this one. Okay. So, off the tee. Bunkers. Bunkers look okay. Over there. Mm -hmm. Try shoot under par today. Start off the nice perfect. Four feet down. somewhere. I do like this planting right here. I can't even see where I am. Oof. Came out hot. This is for nice cut. Yeah, planting looks really good so far. Uh, so yeah, next hole. Ooh, I look fast. It's got to come back. This gonna be in the rough. All right, so here's what I'd say. First hole, tiny green. Second hole, huge green. Planting looks good. Um, yeah. Maybe make your fairway like transition a little neater. Maybe. We're just hacking that. Oh, that weird grass glitch. I kind of, I made a little less flashy or whatever. I don't know why it does that, but I need to figure it out. Uh, well, which pitch? Put it in. I don't know about this. Is kind of is this kind of like a waste bunk kind of area. Planting over here looks nice. I would say you need to lower this tee box down. This tee box feels should be higher than that one. You know what I mean? Rock work? I mean, planting looks fantastic. If you know what I mean, but... Again, see back to that smaller green. Oops. So, yeah. I'm actually going to hit like kind of a... Oh, I put that way too far. Get up. Get lucky. Sit. Spin. Okay. 
This is a par 74, which you don't see very much, but that is an awful putt. I'm so bad at this game. I'm so bad. <laughs> I do like the atmosphere. Okay, so here, yeah, got a lot of problems with this hole. Well, not problems, but this is... So it feels like you're trying to do a little bit of everything in this course. Like a small green, big green. Um, like you need to choose the same thing. This is like something you'd see at a Lynx course, if you know what I mean. And and this is not a Lynx course. Well, it actually is called Pillory Lynx. So, but this is more of like a country club kind of look. You know what I mean? You know, if I can. If I can actually get this to work for one minute. It's not going to work, we're not going to... There we go. Okay, so, I'm going to try to back out. I can't move. There we go. Okay, so we're in the middle of a large lake. Yeah, so this hole's a little weird, you know what I mean? Like, look at like this hole, and then this hole, and then all of a sudden it's just a bunch of bunkers. So. Yeah, that's all I'd say about that. Oops, what did I just do? Yeah. Sightline off this tee is good though. <clears throat> See now it's another big green near me, and so it's just like that small green. So rope one around, sit down. Put this one in. I think I aimed a little too far. Yeah. Boom. Okay. We were one under. Alright, so maybe a little. I mean, yeah, it's okay. Lots of poor fives in this course. So too bad. That was like a shank. It's part five though, so I don't think I'm even be able to get this out. Oh, we are. Okay, that's cool. What I do like is I like how it's like enclosed. You know, you always have something behind the green too. So I think that looks kind of neat. There we go. Is that a birdie? I think it was. See, now it's a small green again, so. And, um. Just a quick. How are we getting to this? Are we just walking around? I mean, I don't really mind. I know this is a video game. Some people might not like that. Just saying. I don't really mind if you don't have a bridge. I don't really mind, don't really mind that, but you know, some people might say. Oops. He has from the club. Mm -hmm. Go. Hey, I haven't. I haven't. The elevation didn't do much there. Oh, that was so bad. I didn't hit it that hard. Yeah, that's a good cut. Yeah, so... I do apologize for that kind of flashing in the grass, if you can see right there. It's so annoying. I always try to make my, my videos, but stupid grass kind of ruins all of them. 
Okay, so what do we have here? Can I see this? Nice. I love 90 degree angle par fours. I, uh, I have made two. I made one for my design new course, and I made one for my national treasure course that I'm working on right now. So, yeah, that. You have to execute them well, so we will see. Oops. Yeah. We're going to see how this looks. I think I'm just going to hit like a big ol'. Not, not that much, obviously. Sit. I think we're going to be fine. I mean, again. Planting is just spectacular. Like this rock work is just phenomenal. Um, green shape, a little interesting. I mean, I get it. This green size is is better though. I will say that. Oh, that was not slow. Right. Bunker sculpting has been okay. I haven't really noticed that much. That's a nice waterfall right there. There we go. We can put. Are we two under, I think? I'm actually on spring break this week, so I'm going to be gassing videos. Um, right after this, I'm going to go play the next course, which is Blind Bluff. Pines, so yeah. Um, I like this hole so far. There's a huge bunker up here. Yeah, so all I have to say is I think you need to choose your theme. Bunkers are a little deep here. Yeah. I think you need to choose your theme. What kind of. Because you, you're, you're kind of a little inconsistent with the designs, they, they don't look bad or anything. Like, planting's fantastic. I think the bunkers, like, this is a little big. Unless you're doing, like, a waste bunker, which you've done on a couple holes. And then a couple holes, you haven't. You know what I mean? So, like, it looks like a punch club course, and it looks like a links course. and then, You know what I mean? Hi, right, green. It's fine. Shanked it, but it's gonna come down this little slope right here. That's a good shot. There we go. What was I gonna say before that? I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah. Um I have a new series on the YouTube channel all about my national treasure course if you want to check that out. Um, I have episode one. And uh, episode two has not been done yet, obviously, but I see this problem I have with this hole. You cannot hit the ball on the fairway. And it kind of forces you to hit driver. So, like, what do I do here? Like, it's going to go off the fairway, right? Let's get a big kick. Actually, no, we stay on the fairway. This bunker is, you don't need this right here. Like like this area, like you can't even stand in there. You know what I mean? This this green shape and green complex is better. Maybe you might want to take away these bushes so then you can like see the pin, if you know what I mean. What you could do is instead of putting the bushes up here, you can put them down at the bottom so it kind of looks like moss covered retaining wall, if you know what I mean? And then you, you can still get that nice view into the green. So. Yeah. It's fast. Sit. That's a decent shot. Yeah, Clubhouse looks, looks really cool as well. Is that another birdie? Make a turn. At four under. 
There's a lot of profiles on that, that, that site. So let me see. This is part three. 232 yard par four. Is there a reason not to go for it? Yeah, too easy of a par four. That, that's all I'd say. This is the shortest par four I've ever built. It was in my very first course. It was 264 yards. Why is it not putting? That needs to really... Wow, I didn't break it all. That was going to come right down the slope. Maybe I take back what I said about being an easy par four. Yeah, but... If I could actually play the game well, um, I, I think it's a little easy. Um, I get what you're trying to do with that, but it's just it's just a little awkward, you know what I mean? Because I could have not gone for the green and had a, had a wedge in from after hitting like a 8 iron or something like that, you know what I mean? So, I'm trying to get this there. This looks pretty good. The greens are kind of soft, I think, so. That is such a bad putt. I just, if I had hit that a little less hard, they'd be on right in the hole. Oh, shank that putt. That was not good. Okay. Yeah, definitely some interesting hole designs, I'd say. Um, dude, I don't even know if we can... I actually right clicked and shanked it. That was probably the worst shot I think I've ever hit in my entire life. I mean, I'm just going to whack it out. Oh, I was going to say, if that goes on the green, that would have been... One heck of a shot. Oops. Yeah, so what I say about that is it's another easy par four, right? So I hit two awful shots, shanked one, and I duffed one out of the rough, and I still found it relatively easy to get par. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Again, bunkers are just they're a little, little weird for me. Sit right there. Yeah, green shapes are, are a little awkward as well, but... Oh, it's gone. I just I totally forgot. The wind has to knock it down. Actually, we almost have the green. Oh, we got a big bush in the way. Okay, we're going to put this one in. I can't even see. There was no break in that. What happened there? Okay. We're just a par, par machine on the back. Yes, I say fairways are a little tight. Um, 
I do like the visuals. I think the visuals are awesome. Um, you know, they're really cool. Love that little like, little, like mulch with the trees. Yeah, I like this green shade. And I like how your fairway transitions a little better. I mean, this one could be a little smoother, but this one looks decent. I can't really see. Yeah, see how the, the fairway transitions right nicely into the green. Uh, bunker again, you know, just, just, I don't know, I don't know where you got your inspiration from, you know what I mean? Because th there could be a course out there that looks like this. Mm -hmm. Like, this feels more like a, like almost, not, well, kind of like an Augusta course, I like, um, don't really know, um, with the trees and stuff. Like the bunkers you got in the first hole, it's kind of thinking Augusta, you know, you have a little mulch. It's not exactly like Augusta, right? Kind of thinking that more of a a country club feel. Oh, the wind took that one. Mm. Not bad. Putts have not been breaking today, so we want to find the make one. Yeah. So what hole again? Fourteen, four holes left. Okay. Um, another thing I'd say, and it, it really doesn't matter, like, having a 30, like, a par 39 through 9 holes is a little awkward. I mean, I do like, I do like how you try everything here. We're gonna drive the green. Dang. Yeah, this is actually kind of a fun hole, see if you can whack it all the way down. I do like that. I do like the planting, though. The planting is, is definitely the highlight. The atmosphere. Yeah, yeah so. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, here we come back to one of these kind of waste bunker areas, you know. This could actually be helped in our favor. If we can get the ball to go. And now we're, we're going to have the nastiest putt. We're going to put this for sure. <laughs> no chance. Yep, that's gone. Hmm. Not bad. Six under. Dang, it's our best score ever during the course for you. Oh, this is a long one as well. We're gonna try to get this there. So we can't hit it slow though. Oh, we absolutely got it there. We didn't get it down to the pin though for some reason. Here's what I say about this hole is you're a little flat around the pin. Right? So once the ball gets going towards the hole, it's just you know, all you have to do is take a little fuzzy brush and just like put a little mound or something like that, you know what I mean? And just create a little bit of of slope. Okay, let's see. So I like the width of this fairway more, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, definitely like this a little more. Yeah, okay, so par five. Sight lines have been okay. There have been a couple times where I couldn't really see where we were hitting. But, you know, it's fine. Now this green is a little too big, I feel. Well, I want to go check out the clubhouse. I know you, you want to see me play the course, but the clubhouse looks cool. 
Whoa. I can't see. That's a big old clubhouse. Let's go. Cool. That's a lighthouse right there. Nice. Definitely, I feel like it, it, it feels more like a country club kind of thing to me. You know, we're just going to play up to right here. And uh, pitch one on. to shoot seven under. Oops. Okay. That was a uh, Pellery Lynx. We shot 67. Um, yeah, that was. I was, I think the planting was, was really good. Um, probably what I'd say, I think green shapes and sizes really needed um, to be more consistent, which is, is something that, that like a lot of people struggle with. I struggle with it too, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like some holes um, were a little, little interesting, like the 232 yard par four. Um, yeah, like I can see what you're trying to do, but it, it's just it's just a little simple like you can, you can hit on the green pretty easily or you can just lay up with an eight iron and flip it off the wedge so yeah that's what i'd say about that um visuals were fantastic though um bunkers bunkers were a little i think you need to choose a theme with the bunkers you know you had waste bunker areas kind of things and you had green side bunkers you had all sorts of different ones, you know what I mean? So, I'd say you need to choose a theme, like, cause there were some there were some good bunkers. They were they were placed well, you know what I mean? Then you come to a hole and it'd be like that kind of waste wasty bunker area, and you'd be like, that doesn't really make a lot of sense, you know, for what I'm what this course is, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, your planting was fantastic. Um, yeah, it's this absolutely fantastic course. I I like the idea how it's in the middle of a lake. You know what I mean? I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, um, that's all I gotta say. Uh, I had a fun time playing it, and I actually shot a good score for once. So yeah. Um, as always, guys, uh, make sure to slap a like in the video and subscribe. Um, trying to get to 50 subscribers. We're at 36 right now. Or while I'm doing this, while I'm recording this video. So, if we can get to 50, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And, uh, we we'll go from there. So, so, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.